I do want to get you all your opinion on last year's format to crown the 2023 Lucas Oil champion Hudson O'Neill. It came down to one race where the points reset before the Dirt Track World Championship at Eldora Speedway, and the man that came out on top of the top four there um, out of Hudson O'Neill, Ricky Thornton Jr., Davin, Jonathan Davenport, and Devin Moran, whoever finished out front out of those four was your champion. Of course, we all know the story. Rough racetrack. I don't even remember how many, of just a few handful of cars finished the race. Uh, crazy event with Hudson O'Neill um, edging out, winning the championship, almost winning the race, but also, win, also definitely winning the Lucas Oil Championship after Ricky Thornton Jr. had dominated all year. Y'all's thoughts on that format? You know my opinion on this, and I, I voiced it. No, I didn't like it uh, from a competition standpoint. It, yes, it was very entertaining. That was one of the most entertaining races I have ever watched was that uh, Dirt Track World Championship Lucas Oil Series finale. It came literally down to the last lap. Um, but at the end of the day, it did not lend itself to good competition, what felt like fair competition, putting it all on one race. Um, and I even said this when they first come out with it, I'm like, so we're putting the entire championship on one race at, uh, Eldora in Ohio in late or mid to late October, right? Like what's the you know odds that it's affected by weather, you know, it's pretty, pretty good. And we saw that happen and led, led to a very rough racetrack that just kind of made it a, you know, a crapshoot basically. And I, I don't feel like that's the way you want to want to determine a champion, which as we know, they changed their mind on or made some changes this year, which I assume we'll talk about. Um, so I assume that, you know, I think while it was exciting, most of the, you know, reaction was that this is not exactly the way you want. This isn't how you want to determine a champion. So, and that was, that was my opinion. Uh, yeah. I mean, like Joshua said, I, I guess, I guess as, as fans, I guess it made it exciting. It's like everyone wants to tune in kind of like a, like a foot, like playoffs in the football, I guess everyone tunes in to watch it. But as a, you know, put yourself as a competitor like that. That's there's no way that that's fair for you know Ricky, in my opinion. I I might be a little biased. Like I I would have liked to seen him win, but uh, it's it it wasn't great. And and it was like literally worst case scenario with the track conditions, like awful. Like it was terrible. And I would I would hate to have been you know someone in that uh, situation as a driver. Uh, I guess ultimately, unless you're Hudson O'Neill. Um, I guess, but no, they, I'm glad to see that they did some, uh, some changing around. Yeah, basically the same. I mean, obviously the race was highly entertaining. You, you know, it was, <laughs> it, had, it, it had your nerve <laughs> shot, you know, you know, oh, it was exciting. You didn't know, you didn't know what to expect. I mean, so many people coming and going the whole, the whole race and then all, all four of your championship cars, you know, there and then falling out there and coming like Ricky comes back on the racetrack and you think like, there's still a chance he might could win, you yeah. know, uh -huh. <laughs> um, as long as he's the last one running. I mean, it could happen. Uh, but you know, um, it, it was just extremely wild the way that, you know, that, that one put it on that one race and especially the the way the race kind of transpired and with the weather and everything. Like I remember talking about it, uh, with you guys or whatever, we we're sitting there and it's like, man, the, the, the series right here has the perfect opportunity to just cancel this race. <laughs> and forget they even said anything yep. about having a uh, a, a one-race to decide it Shoot all. Shoot out. Yeah. We're just going like, to give it to our DJ. Why don't we just know that we we frigged up? <laughs> 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 like, the weather is playing straight to it. Like, we can just say, we frigged up. We're just going to forget we were even here and, and go, all go home. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad they don't have it all on one race like they did this past year. And you're taking nothing away from Hood or, or the Rocket team. They, you know, they were there, and they – come and took care of business there at, El at Eldor. And it really literally came to down to the last corner. They right. were there to pass Moran there uh, on the last corner. They're coming to the checkered flag. And then Shepard, you know, runs out of fuel. Yeah. Uh, if the flag stands 15 more feet further close or closer to turn one, I mean, Hood wins the race and the championship. Definitely made it interesting, but it seemed like it took away from the fact that RTJ had as dominating a season as he did. Like this, the Lucas Oil series was more about, how dominating RTJ was then who, you know, ended up being the champion. And then to me, that just seems weird, I guess. Um, it's but, certainly different. I mean, that's yeah. the only time we've, we've dealt with any of that or seen any of that this close to it, you know, I mean, you know, NASCAR does that kind of crap right. and has for a while, but 
we're not close to that, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, doesn't really matter to me anyway. I could care less, but <laughs> <laughs> um, it uh, it just seemed weird or foreign to dirt late model you didn't racing. Feel like I think you didn't feel like, and and this isn't taking nothing away from Hudson O'Neill and the Rocket One team, um, but you just didn't feel like they the the right the guy who earned it won it is, is you know yeah. it, it it just. It didn't. I mean, Ricky Thornton Jr. Right. had the best season, one of the best season, historic seasons uh, on a national tour. He deserved to win the championship or at least have a better shot at it, not have it come down to something like that. Exactly. That was, as good as the race was and as exciting as it was, it really left a bad taste, I think, in a lot of people's mouths to to have that feeling like, man, the, it, that that's not the way this should have ended. None um, more so than RTJ. Yeah, <laughs> guarantee you. Um, all right, it so worked then out. It worked out because I think that's why he came and ran with us at East Alabama was to try to get that. Back yeah, exactly. The very next so week. We were, we were happy to have him down there at that race. <laughs> All right. So the question now is, the question now is, did Lucas Oil fix it with their, what is it, a seven race format now? When it, same deal with the top four drivers. It's still, by the way, paying was over a million dollars um, in points fund money. Yeah, let's let's don't get it confused. All four of those drivers got paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah otherwise, I mean, but yeah, I mean they all got paid. Didn't you they know? all get more than the um, champion the previous year? I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I'm so pretty sure. So they got paid. I mean, right. it sucks, you know, to be in that situation, but you did get a pretty hefty check in the right. Deal. Um, so, well, did they fix it though? Now going to seven races to decide the final seven races. I guess it just resets at zero. And then whoever's on top at the end of the seven races is your champion. Is that fixing the, uh, the I, I don't want to say problem, but apparently they didn't like the way it shook out. So, you know, they thought there was a problem that needed to be adjusted or fixed or whatever you want, way you want to look at it. Did they make it better? Um, and to you all, a better way to crown the champion. Can I go first on this? Sure. One, since I went first on the negative, <laughs> we'll go in the I, same my order. Answer, Joshua. My answer is absolutely yes. This is, and I this is was my take from the beat when they came out with that is like, why not make it a multiple race playoff, right, or or something like at least make it feel like it it was, you know, I just all that pressure on or that attend, you know, to turn all that on one race was too much. Let's spread it out a little bit, and I think you can get the same effect, a very tight points battle. Um, you know, one that we watch more than just one weekend. I mean, none of us really started paying attention to the Lucas Oil points until the last race. Now right. we can watch it starting with, uh, is it Knoxville, I believe? Or, or you know, that, those la la that last stretch of races will be fun to watch. And I think, given that there's four guys starting out on equal playing field, I think it will kind of, it might not be as close where whoever wins, you know, is the champion in the last race, but it'll certainly be close enough that I think you'll have some drama. Uh, going and going to the Dirt Track World Championship, which is what the the series and flow and sponsors and everybody wants. So I think yes, they fixed it. I think it's a, a fair compromise. You know, they want something. Uh, you know, to to build up the championship drama and guarantee a, a close points battle. Um, this does that without making it feel too contrived and too um scripted. If you're not scripted, um, you know, uh, manufactured like, drama. Manufactured. Yes, it is. It, it feels more natural, more more uh acceptable i think to the purist if you will uh, when it comes to national <laughs> right <point> see <laughs> so i was trying to find where it actually starts um i believe it starts with uh brownstown i don't I see so. knoxville, knoxville a race it, where everyone where you i guess it finishes up with knoxville maybe so if you have if you have a close if you have close uh, close points to get in yeah. That adds drama there to, to Knoxville, four, and then they go to know. Brownstown last week in September, starting yeah. the final seven races. Jesse, what's your thoughts on the the amended uh, chase for the championship? Yeah, I, I think it's a much better, much better deal. Uh, I think for everybody, for the fan viewing, you know, you get to be invested and, and really get pay close attention at the end of the season and 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 watch a championship unfold instead of it all being on one race you you're more invested i feel like in, in more races getting to watch it and as a in the driver's perspective like crap if you have one bad race I, I still feel like you could possibly bounce back and still have have a shot to to possibly still capture a championship you know deservingly if if you know like if if the same thing was like this past year i think ricky thornton they, they go somewhere else and race a couple more times i, I think he wins i mean right. like i think he wins a championship I'm, I'm salty. All right, if you couldn't tell, <laughs> Jesse's I'm a big RTJ fan. Uh, Still so, not over it. Um, so I definitely think that you know it, it's a much, much, much better um deal they got going on, and it it, it has the 
like the the drama and you know the 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 good fan engagement right. like they're like they're wanting um, it's a happy balance in a, in a better way yeah I, I think so yeah it, much better looking forward to it Joseph you got anything to add any thoughts on the new format what's wrong with just having one, <laughs> you know the old fashioned way yeah what's wrong with the old fashioned way man whatever yeah. whatever happened I mean, yeah that's funny leave yeah. it in the driver's hand yeah. <laughs> let the best yeah. man win yeah that's I mean like, I mean sure doing this is better than last year right yeah there's no doubt it's it definitely is better I I don't know what somebody's thought process process was, was for that deal last year, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, whatever. I mean, yeah, whatever. That's all in the past. Don't matter. But this is better than that. But I don't, and I, I don't have no problem with what they're doing now. What yeah. twenty twenty four will be. It's, it's fine. It, like you said, it's going to add uh, probably some eyeballs. You know that if a, if a championship's decided with, you know, if it's somebody stretching out, you know. Um, and they then they reset. I guess it kind of gets everybody's interest back. But I mean, heck, if you're stretching out and you're out there kicking everybody's butt, like go on, do your thing, get paid for it. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with you, Joseph. Yeah. But I also see the the what they're wanting. Obviously, is is eyeballs and drama. And I, but I think this is a, a balance between the two. Of you still give a guy like RTJ. I wonder where if they'd have done it this way last year, where how it would have shaken out, with, you know, yeah. if it would all that stuff. But I feel like the best, most consistent guy all year has a better chance here, obviously with seven races mm -hmm. to to maintain that consistency and still end up, you know, coming out on top. So I think you you have you know the regular straight up like start to finish point system on one side. 180 degrees away from that, you have the reset and run one race point system like they did last year, which is complete opposite on the spectrum. And then somewhere there in the middle, they got this reset and run seven more times. You know, yeah. so um, we'll it, take it. After the extreme, they put on there from one extreme to the other last year. This kind of lands in the middle of, you know, whatever. We'll see how it goes. Right. 